Hi and welcome to this nesting and fabrication tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at how editing your design can impact your nest. So here you can see we have our audio case and at this stage I'm happy with my design. So let's go ahead and create a nest study. In this particular order we want to set a job quantity of 10. I'm happy with my shapes, packaging, global parameters and output. So let's just go ahead and press OK. As you can see, we have a series of sheets containing all the components we need to make 10 audio cases. But at this stage, we need to make some changes to our design. So let's go ahead and change our workspace. And the component we need to change is this upper casing. So let's go ahead and make this design change. At this point, I'm happy with my design change, so let's head back over to Manufacture. As you can see, one of our nests is now out of date. To bring it back up to date, simply right click and regenerate. By activating the sheets, you can see that my design is updated and the nest has been recalculated. So there's a direct link between each and every nest sheet and the design contained within the design workspace. Now let's say I want to make some changes to my material library. For example, my 1.5mm aluminium. I want to update some of my nest parameters to dial in my frame width. Pressing OK, I now have nest 6 which is showing out of date. So again, simply right click, hit generate, and my nests are updated. Thanks for watching this nesting and fabrication tutorial video. Please make sure to check out the other videos in this series for more information about creating nest studies, dialing in your component sources, setting up your process material library, and every step of the nesting and fabrication process.